why are we even having to have this conversation? Who, who is so angry about this that we have to rewrite thousands of years of male working history. on the presumption <laughs> that God is male? I think it's important that we correct that injustice, really, that, that's happened. What's the injustice? Well, if we look in the Bible, there are many examples of God being referred to as a mother. Um, it, in Isaiah, there's a, a quote about, you know, as a mother comforts her children, so I will comfort you. That doesn't mean he's a mother. No, but nor does it mean that when we refer to God that it he's just a means father. That you, it just means that as a mother is a comparative thing, right? Yes, but... As but, a mother, you can do this and that. But previously, we thought when we use father... Where does the Bible actually, actually say thought, God is male? Well, it doesn't. Well, it, it, doesn't. it, it uses father. So, so if the Bible have doesn't say God is male, it repeatedly refers to God as male... Well, people have then taken Why are you suddenly trying to rewrite male? Well, let's have a listen and hear what not you it. Because actually, if you look in the Bible, there, there are references to both. But because Where does it say God is male? We, we use God, uh, the, far, the father figure. So the, right. the, the, it, it's well, a male pronoun. it say God is male? It doesn't, that's it, it the doesn't, point. It's right. Exactly. So, so actually, well, God is genderless. Right. Well, no, but it, God is a genderless... Uh, unless I'm mistaken, uh, the, the Bible does not state that God is male. Why are we having this debate? Why, why are we being coerced now into thinking that calling God male, a man, he, is somehow offensive? Uh, I don't think it's remotely offensive. In fact, I mean, I've never heard such nonsense throughout the entire New Testament. Uh, Christ uh, is a he, uh, and Christ refers to God the Father. Uh, and a father, uh, even in this day and age, uh, is a he. Uh, but what really worries me is the sheer superficiality of this, because the whole objection to calling God he is apparently that it puts people off Christianity. If you're not going to be won over by the message of redemption and forgiveness, uh, if you're not going to be won over by that, you're not going to be won over by somebody saying, oh, look, God's a she. Oh, come on. But actually, the message of Christ, if that's what your biggest issue is, um, if you think about St Paul, who spread the message of Christianity, he said that, you know, there's neither male nor female for all one in Christ. So actually, you know, we shouldn't... Why be... did Jesus Christ refer to the Father, then? If he actually meant because mother. at the time, that, that, that had mother? cultural relevance. If you think about the prodigal son, it wouldn't have worked for that parable to have been a mother mm. because a mother would never have owned the property to have given it away um, as inheritance to her child. So he had to use the father to represent God. That doesn't mean that God is male. What would you call God, God, God then? What would you call well, God? God is above and beyond any gender. So what any would you gender. call God? What well, gender do you It's think? impossible for human language to ever encapsulate well, what God yourself. is. You don't well, want to God be doesn't have a body, that's the no. point. Right. So, so he's never going to... And if you think about the creation narrative, so God, God has made us in his so, own image, so clarify, and then he goes on to say male and female, so, so he to, can't possibly... So, all right, but so clarify, God is gender-fluid. No, yeah. no, that's ridiculous. That's what you just said. Gender no, is ridiculous. irrelevant to I, God. What I've exactly said is that we can't use God's our not male or fragile female, he's human language fluid, right? or she, to try or... and, 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 and say what God is. Right. It's impossible to what, so what, pin him down. You don't know what God is, but it can't be a man. God can be neither female nor male. Says you. I think says everybody, and this is what's actually no, really interesting about this. No, what says everybody? Yes, if you, honestly, no, if what the do you world... mean everybody? I don't know anybody well, who says that. Well, Anne doesn't say that. If most people think about, you know, God, it, it would be ridiculous to say that you God has a gender. You think everybody in the world gender, thinks God should be now gender, gender neutral? Is a hum, is a human huh? thing. It doesn't belong Anne, in the world. apparently, realm. well, you and I, it's Anne, fine. don't agree, so everybody is a fairly loose term these days. Apparently, God should be gender fluid. <laughs> Or have I've no said. gender. Well, that's the impression of having no gender. That's, what, that's a logical conclusion. No, that, if, for, for a human My being, not for a divine being. And I, as I say, you know, throughout the entire New Testament, God, uh, Christ refers to God the Father. Now, the nonsense that that was only a convention of his time and that somehow people wouldn't have accepted it uh, if he'd referred to uh, a woman. Is this the same man we're talking about. This was the one who scandalised all Jerusalem, breaking the Sabbath, feasting with publicans and sinners, breaking every last convention in his message, challenging authority, and, oh, he wouldn't have dared uh, to do something like that. I mean, that is a nonsense. And what is more, all this debate is really very stupid so it's because it's got Jesus nothing had to, you know, to do come in with a the central form, message so of Christianity. I didn't interrupt you. Sorry. I couldn't hear you because you talked over me. 
No, I just said that, you know, just obviously said. Jesus, ha being a human being, you have to come in a form of, uh, you have to be one gender or another. No, you that doesn't that's the whole point. You can you be gender fluid these well, days. But, but we, you Back couldn't then. then. No, that's so, I can be called Christian, Anne if I want Christian to. Christian theology says that, you know, before Jesus was incarnate, he was God and was, was with God and was God. So if we say that God doesn't have a gender, then in a sense, G Jesus' gender is, is irrelevant. And do you think of God uh, in a human form? We all have our own picture language. It might be a big uh, a ball of, 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 of unlookable at light, uh, or it might be a human form. It might be whatever it is. I think people cope in different ways uh, with the whole concept of God. And until we see him face to face, uh, we won't know. But what we do know is um, that he is consistently throughout all the teaching of Christianity throughout 2000 years, uh, being a he. And Christ said, God the Father. I don't actually think but it matters very much. I also said that he wanted to, to gather people as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. Does that mean okay. that he was a hen? Does that mean that he's a woman? These are analogies that were used to help us come to some understanding. It does not mean that they are... Tandy, Newton, okay, okay, Tandy Newton at the Emmys uh, on Sunday night uh, <coughs> said that she thanked God during her speech despite the fact she's an atheist, which in itself I find quite offensive. Why would you do that? I don't even believe in God, she said, but I'm going to thank her tonight. Well, there we go. We're really, Either, agree with well, that? Yeah, we're really up. aware of gender is a huge issue at the minute. And so What's this he got is to why, do with an atheist? Because it, it's, gonna, well, it's going to affect theology. Seriously, atheists, keep your big noses out of it. Well, right. Nothing to Feminism. do with you. <laughs> Ray, thank I'm an you atheist, very much but I've decided God is a her. <laughs> Shut up.